Thank you for tuning into this tutorial on how to send your correspondence. I'm Kay Collier. My artist name is Catherine Hastings. I specialize in letter writing and wax seals. I'm also the host of the One Sealed Letter podcast, which is all about the legacy of letter writing. My mission is to get the world writing more beautiful letters and to carve out the space to write letters and enjoy writing them. To me, scent is so much a part of that because scents are so deeply connected to our memory and our emotions. And when we scent correspondence, it's something that we get to enjoy, but also it has the ability to transport the person that we're sending our letter to because they'll get that lovely smell when they open the letter as well. There isn't one right way to send your correspondence. I'm going to teach you my favorite ways to send correspondence using different methods. I'd say first and foremost, you want to trust your own sense of smell and tune into what type of smell you think the person that you're writing is going to like. I have people in my family that really hate floral smells. So even though I love them when I'm writing them, I wouldn't scent my paper with a floral smell. Similarly, when I was pregnant, I remember scents being just way too um, overwhelming. And so I'd say if you're writing someone who's maybe expecting or they're really sensitive to smell, take that into consideration when you're writing them. But you always want to choose a smell that you think somebody would actually like, the person that you're writing. You could also have a general scent that's what you use for most of your correspondence and then maybe scent some letters a little bit differently. I have a series of things that I use to scent letters. So I have perfumes. I have essential oils. I also have some incense, Palo Santo and Sage. And it's best if you're going to be sending a letter to plan well in advance how you're going to scent your paper so that you don't need to do it last minute. If you want to spray a piece of paper last minute, you can do that, but it has the problem there that you might actually put little you know, dots of perfume on the paper. It could make the ink get messed up. And so I prefer to have the paper scented ahead of time and not actually put any liquid on the paper. So one of the best ways to do this is to have a baggie and some cotton balls. You can use this technique either with perfumes or with essential oils. These are some of my favorite essential oils. They're from Campo Beauty. We did a podcast episode with them where we talked all about how to use essential oils for your letter writing. And one of the methods that we talked about was this method. So all you do is you get your essential oil, you put some cotton or some essential oil on a cotton ball. You can really smell it. This one's lovely. This is the wood smell. My favorite one of theirs is their scent that's called Love. And then I get it on a couple cotton balls usually put it in a plastic bag and then I put in whatever paper I'm going to be using into that bag. So if, let's say you have a series of cards and you want all of them scented. You can just store them in a baggie like this with the scent. So even though the oil isn't touching the paper, it's not going to damage your stationery, it's going to get that lovely scent on there. So when you're ready to write your letter, you can take it out write your letter and it's going to have that lovely smell. So this is option one where you plan ahead of time. And again, you could use either an essential oil and spray it on a cotton ball, or you could take a piece of, of tissue um, or cotton ball and put perfume on it and then put it in here. The next option that I love to do is to actually take a piece of tissue and scent it. I love a tissue that has a nice sound to it. It's a nice crinkly sound. And all I do is just take a pair of scissors. This is my favorite set of paper scissors, Merchant and Mills, which I carry in my shop. They're made in Sheffield, England, and they're just the absolute best paper scissors. They cut really smooth. They're long, so you can get really nice long lines, particularly if you're doing gift wrap. These are great. So I just cut my tissue into a nice, Sheet and you can see it's really beautiful, transparent, it has a lovely smell and texture to it. And then I'm going to scent it. This is one of my favorite perfumes, Materi Radical Rose. And I just spray it on the tissue. Usually that's enough, just one or two pumps. 
because it's quite strong, just as if you were to spray it on your skin. And then when I write my letter, I'll write my letter on my normal paper. So for instance, just take this piece of paper. Once I'm done writing it, I'll put the tissue over it and then fold the letter around the tissue like this. So it's really nicely folded in there and it can go in the envelope. And this has a nice effect to it because it scents the paper really wonderfully. It's going to be nice, strong scent. You're scenting it right before you're sending it, so it's going to be sealed in there. The other benefit of this that I really like is it just adds one more element of the experience. Having a letter that has a little piece of tissue on top of it makes it feel almost like a gift. And I can't help myself smelling it. It just smells wonderful. I like to keep a variety of perfumes in my office and I'll often also just scent tissue paper and put it around the office so it smells great. So you can also do that just for the experience of letter writing. The same technique of tissue can also be done with essential oils. In this case, all you would wanna do is take a cotton ball and your essential oil. Like we did before, you put a little essential oil on the cotton ball. And this time, you would actually rub it on your tissue paper. You wanna make sure you do this not on the letter itself because it is going to coat the tissue in the oil. You can see it gets it kind of clear. And then you fold the letter on the side that you didn't put the oil on just to avoid getting oil on the letter. It's still gonna put a little bit on there, but it shouldn't be too bad if you do that. Again, really lovely smell. Another option is to make a little band. This is a beautiful piece of marbled paper. This is from my friend Vanessa who runs Marbled Paper Studio. All I do is take a little slip of paper, just as a band, and then I'm going to show you an example. Let's say this is my letter that I've written. I'm going to spray it with some perfume, just like before. One or two pumps on there. Good enough. I let that dry a little bit. And then I just wrap the little band around the letter. My friend Melissa has made me some really beautiful seals. So I'm just gonna take one of her seals and use it to close the band. And you could just make a seal on here if you'd like, or you could make them ahead of time. And then you just peel and stick on there like that. This also elevates the letter like the tissue paper. I feel like it adds more to the experience. It's really beautiful. It smells amazing. When they're ready to read it, they can just slip this off. So also if you're a person who loves wax seals, this is a great option because they won't damage the seal when they take the band off, but it still holds the letter really well. Okay. Another option is to scent the inside of the envelope. You can do this with essential oil, but I'd recommend just doing it with perfumes. The essential oils, because they are made of oil, can seep through the envelope and make it look a little greasy. So again, I'd say if you're using an essential oil, really the best option is just to put it in a baggie with some essential oil on the cotton ball and have this ahead of time ready. But if you're using a perfume, you can just take your perfume. This is Narcotic Venus. It's one of my favorite smells and you just scent the inside of the envelope. So really strongly scented, and then you put your letter inside. So it's not going to affect the calligraphy or anything. It's not going to affect the outside of the envelope because you're spraying the inside with the perfume. And then when they open it, they'll smell that wonderful scent. Finally, if you would like to use incense, this is a, kind of ceremonial way that you can scent letters. I mentioned I have sage and palo santo. Let's just say that this is my letter. We'll take this part off. 
And this is the paper that we want to scent. I take my incense and light it. We'll do a mix of sage and palo santo just to get it smoking a little bit here. And then when we get it, it starts to have some smoke without touching it to the paper. I just let the smoke kind of seep in the letter. And you could do it open too like that if you wanted. You're basically using the paper to catch the smoke. Obviously with this option, be very careful not to actually light your letter on fire, but it's a great way to have a little bit of ceremony and kind of bless the letter as well. Like we did with the perfume, you can also scent the envelope by getting the smoke to go inside the envelope. So again, there's not one perfect method. It's really just a question of how much time you have, what you're trying to scent, and what you think is most beautiful. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what your favorite method is. And if you have any questions, do let me know. Easiest way to reach me is just through Instagram usually if you send me a direct message. But um, of course, tune in to the One Sealed Letter podcast if you haven't already because I go in depth into all different concepts, more on scenting letters, but also the full experience of letter writing. Happy letter writing.